Good morning, and we've got some chart now. The 18th of March, uh, 2020. Wow. That's uh, it's and what a, what a month it's been so far as well. So I'm going to keep it uh, short here, guys. I didn't actually catch uh, any trades yesterday. I had a few other things going on, you know, as well as Monday, to be honest. Um, I do apologize for not putting out a video earlier. You were in my Instagram and I shared a YouTube channel. I actually make the videos um, for that channel as well. So feel free to check that out. It's it's I make the videos according to the uh, directions, but you know, it's it's it is uh, it's a support and resistance as well. So purely technical though. I mean I would say I incorporate fundamentals into my trading in regards to you know like a catalyst uh, and, and that sort of thing in regards to you know when I get into a position. I'm I'm not oblivious to fundamentals, but I would say I look at the technicals quite strongly. Now the CCAT, goodness me. That it's I think I might have mentioned this in regards to if, if it's 72 hours or longer, well, after 72 hours, if the gap hasn't closed, it's going to continue higher, and, and it certainly has. Um, goodness me, let's see what it's been doing intraday. It's, uh, I mean, it has been a little choppy, but it's, uh, it's looking pretty good here. In regards to this, though, it... Well, immediately you look at that and you're just like, well, it's very steep, it's aggressive, it's probably overbought. Um, I mean, the entries would have been around here when they when it was sort of really stagnating and in a little bit of a a cluster there, and it sort of eased off a little bit. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that for now. Uh, Aussie dollar, I did trade this, and uh, oh my goodness, this right here. Is an example of letting you win his run, um, because <laughs> look at it, goodness! I took the whole position off as well. I was just a little unsettled because I was just where it was was like an 11 year low or so, and it continues. This is from 2003 where we're at now, guys. This, you know, it was the very low of that candle there back in 2008. It looks like. So, it's, uh, wow. I'd like to see a little bit of a retreat. We'll see. I mean, this thing could get to 56 cents. I was talking to uh, more of a higher time frame, longer, long holder type trader, and he, he mentioned that was um, on his agenda. So, um, that's the four hour here, guys. So, uh, we'll go to the one hour and just see what's happening this morning. It's a pretty subdued. It looks like it might be bottom out. I'd like to see a little bit of a pullback. Um, I'd be still somewhat interested in entering this a bit later. So that's the Aussie dollar, especially with the rate cuts looming as well. And it seems for the most part the US dollar has sort of been holding up okay. Uh, speaking of the US dollar, let's go to the euro here. And let's go to the daily time frame. Yeah, wow. I think if we bring up the one hour you see that rectangle I was talking about taking as a breakout and it's I mean it's it's been messy but it's um it's moved pretty nicely actually so I didn't take that trade unfortunately but um, I just wanted that that's the context of that rectangle there I, I did it on an hourly time frame actually you can see it on the four hour that's sort of what I was it was sort of boxed up and but that's as simple as that as a potential strategy idea and I've traded this sort of thing before. Uh, I'm not gonna leave that. Let's go to the let's go to gold actually and see what gold's doing. I like to keep them to about five minutes. Gold has wow what was the low there? It's just loading up here. It looks to be like below fourteen fifty as well. It's quite significant. It looks like I mean this candle here is it's pretty nice, although that's a very long wick. Um, but you know, we'll see. It looks more long than short. Um, so that's gold. No entry there yet, unfortunately. It's still very unsettled times in the equity market, so I'm just going to let that be. Um, <clears throat> All right, let's have a look at the pound here. Was it the USDN? All right, USDN. So. 
Just looking there right now, I'd like to go to the four hour. To me, and in regards to the situation, it looks like it's it's potentially long, especially if this pullback extends a little bit. We see a candle like this. That candle like that is quite quite nice. After a little bit of a pullback, so we'll wait and see on that for the USDN, and I'll just touch upon the pound, and I think that will be it. Okay, this is quite interesting. I'm gonna watch this closely. This this could be off of some value here, but again, wait and see. Uh, you know how today plays out. It's very early in the session, so I'm not interested in taking a trade right now. USD Swiss. It's got the news in the background, so everyone. Um, you'll see Swiss. <clears throat> I'll just bring up the weekly chart just to put. So it's been a wow. So it has. It's rallied. There's still a little bit of potential long. The USD Swiss Euro Pound. Pardon all the, all the fib set, but. Euros, Euro pound, sorry. All right, we'll see about this. If this is just a fake out or if this has got some substance, we'll wait for today play out and then we'll uh, revisit it during the London session. For now, guys, no current open positions. Thank you for watching and bye for now.